So in this video, we're gonna make our all new Universal IR Blaster version 2 project which got a couple of hardware improvements as compared to the previous generation with the help of which you can control any IR based appliances, maybe your TV, music system or an air conditioner quite easily through your mobile phone using the KME Smart Mobile application and it will work over internet from any corner of the world. So that was our project and this video will cover everything about how we made it and if you find it really useful and interesting, well you can get one for yourself as well. I'll share more details about it by the end of the video. So stay tuned and keep watching this video till the end. And now let us start with the harder part of the project. So to make this project, we'll need these all components and after gathering them all, we need to connect them according to this schematic diagram. So here if I explain the schematic, then this time we have used the USB TTL circuit as well, which is based on the CS340CIC and we have a USB Type-C port for programming and also powering up the device. So with the help of this onboard programmer, you can make this project work with any of the IoT platform that you are comfortable with. Like this video is focused on the KME Smart IoT platform, but you can also program it to make it work with the CADIO platform or any other platform of your choice. Later we are using the same chipset ESP8266 because it is cheaper in cost and it does the job really well for this project. Later in the IR transmitter section, here we are using the ULN2003 IC while in the previous generation we used the transistors. Now we experienced that the transistor heats up a lot uh, while transmitting or while controlling all those LEDs. So we removed those transistors and added the ULN for driving the LEDs and with the help of this uh, we are getting more power and also with the more power we are getting the better range in our IR blaster. And here if you uh, notice carefully, we also added a LED indicator which is nothing but a visible LED through which we'll be able to visualize whether our transmitter or the IR blaster is transmitting something or not. And later to provide the 3.3 voltage to our ESP chipset, we are using the 3.3 voltage regulator based on the AMS 7 IC and we are using the TSOP as an IR receiver because we need to make this project learn the commands of our IR remote. So that was the complete schematic of this project and I'll be providing the schematic like the PDF version of the schematic down in the description so you can take this as a reference for your next projects. And after finalizing the schematic, we designed a custom PCB for this project and later we give its order to PCB GoGo. -Go. Now PCB GoGo -Go is one of the largest PCB manufacturer in China and luckily I got a chance to visit their factory last year. It is really huge and they are processing around 3000 orders per day and ordering PCBs online through PCB GoGo -Go is really very simple. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking and later select the shipping option as per your location. Now here PCB GoGo -Go offers 24 hours PCB manufacturing time without any extra cost if you allow to add the PCB GoGo -Go logo on it which is really convenient for makers like us. And after that your design will be reviewed for any error and later after reviewing you can pay for your order and get it delivered at your doorsteps. Now the PCB comes safely in a vacuum packaging and the PCB quality feels really premium. Now currently they are having an amazing offer where you can get $25 worth PCB at just a dollar for all the new users and also they are providing free shipping in North America and Europe. So just click the link mentioned in the description and get your PCBs from PCB Go Go. Later after receiving the PCB, we first added the solder paste on the PCB and started picking and placing the SMD components. After placing them all, we put it on a heat bed and let it bake for a couple of minutes. After a few minutes, we started shouldering the through hole components on it and this time we also got a 3D printed LED spacer which will evenly spread out all the IR LEDs at equal distance to avoid any blind spots and also to make it more sleek and neat. So after soldering them all, the final project looks like this. Neat and very compact. So that was all about the hardware part and now let's jump over to the firmware part of the project. So now for the firmware we first need to go to the kmesmart.com website and here inside the kme config option you need to download this kme tool. The current version is v25 and it's only available for windows users so I'll click here and it will start downloading. After downloading just open up that folder and open this KME config application. Click on run anyway and here is the software. Now before the next step first we need to connect this universal IR blaster with a computer via type C cable. Now make sure the type C cable you are using is a data cable and not just a charging cable. After connecting with the computer just click here and here the new COM port will appear on which your uh, 
IR Blaster is connected with. Later, just click on the connect button. After it is successfully connected with the COM port, just click on the upload firmware button and this will automatically detect the chip uh, that you have connected it with and it will upload the specific firmware file for it. A few minutes later. And it is successfully flashed and here we also got the MAC ID and the device ID of our specific project. So after doing that step, just click on this plus icon and here we'll add only one single widget which is IR Hub. I'll click on the plus icon and here we need to configure this widget so click on this widget and here we need to select the transmitter and the receiver pin now here as per our project the transmitter leds are connected at gpio 14 and the ir receiver is connected with gpio 12 that's it that was all about the configuration here if you want to change the icon you can just click on the icon and select a specific icon that you want here let's just select this icon which looks like an ir remote that's pretty much it that's the only thing that you do in the configuration and later after confirming all this thing just click on this upload button and it will successfully flash this firmware onto our IR blaster. Okay, so here it says uploading done and with this we are done with the firmware part of this project. And now let's move to the next step in which I'll show you how to configure this device with the KME Smart Mobile application. So first of all, you need to download and install this KME Smart Mobile application which is available for both Android and iOS. After that, just click on this plus icon and click on add device. Here make sure your smartphone is connected with the Wi-Fi router that has internet connectivity and that same credential will appear here and this credential will be later provided to your KME smart device. Later click on the connect button and now we need to make this to go inside the smart connect mode and for that we will press and hold this config button till the onboard LED starts blinking at the interval of 1 second. As you can see the LED started blinking so now we are good to go to connect it via smart connect. Here click on single device and now the smartphone will automatically recognize this KME smart device. Okay, so here is the device so I'll click on add device and I'll keep the name as it is. You can change it if you want. So here is our device and with this we have successfully configured this hardware to our KME smart mobile application and now let me show you how to add the IR remote data in it. Okay, so now to add the remote we'll go inside this device, click on this three dots and click on add remote. Now here we have these many types of remote option available. Now here for demo purpose, I'm using an air conditioner remote, so I'll click on conditioner. So here is the AC remote template and we can add the data to all the buttons individually and to add that, click on these three dots and click on config mode. Now tap on any button and later it will wait for uh, the data to be received. So I'll first try to add the data for temperature 27 and the data is successfully captured. Similarly, I'll do it for 26, 25, 24, 23. And later I'll do it for on and off. So let's just add for off. Okay, and let's do it for on. Perfect. So I configured a couple of buttons and similarly you can configure all the buttons in it. And later you can click on the back button. And now we are good to go to use this IR Blaster with the help of our smartphone over internet. Let me show you the demo. Okay, so currently my AC is turned off. So let us turn it from here. And as you can see the AC got turned on and right now the uh, temperature is around 24 degree on the AC. Let's just make it uh, 26 and 27. Okay, so I'm able to control my AC with the help of this KME Smart IoT platform and it's possible with the help of our own made IR Blaster. So it works great with the close proximity, but will it work at far distance? Well, let's check it out. Okay, so I kept the IR Blaster here, which is around 20, 22 feet away from the air conditioner. And as you can see, air conditioner is in off position right now. So now let's try to control it and let's see if it works from such a great distance or not. So let's try to turn it on from here. And it worked. As you can see, the AC got turned on. Okay, so it works even at the far distance as well. Thanks to the all around 360 degree IR LED coverage. Similarly, I added my TV remote and music player remote data in it. And later, I tested it practically and it was working completely fine as expected. So that was all about our second generation of universal IR blaster. Sleek design better range and with built-in programmer. So how was this project according to you? Did you really like it? Well, if is it so, do click the like button and tell YouTube algorithm that this video was really good and worth watching. Also, let me know in the comments about 
what improvements do you think we should make in this project to make it more and more better now coming back to the main point if you really like the hardware and want to purchase it then we are selling this complete project through our website takesms.com whose link you can find in the description of this video and this project will be delivered to you completely assembled and with built-in KME smart firmware in it so you just need to link it with your smartphone and start using it and one more thing currently as of 20th October 2024 we are having the last day of the sale on our website takesms.com where we are selling the components and project at the lowest prices ever so if you want to buy any of the components and projects well, this is the best time and remember the sale will end today 20th October 7 p.m. according to Indian Standard Time so you just have limited hours left so just click the link in the description and start shopping right now so that was all about today's project and that's it about today's video and yeah that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me Techie SMS